I do like squeezing a tyre. Do you know what else I like doing? Yeah. No, I like... <sighs> Give it a smell. How good is that? <sighs> Look at that, boss. Is that an original? This is actually an original. This is an original... 1980s monster beetle. Look at the size of the receiver. Quite they were big back then, weren't they? They got the additional batteries. Small, yeah, yeah. They didn't have any battery illuminated circuitry back then. Look oh at no, that. my stuff. That is beautiful. Yeah, got a resistor on the side of it. They used to get super hot these things. Burn your finger on that as a kid. Yeah. Had a big old blister on my finger from one of them once. But yeah. Um, very good, yeah, well done. But why you got this out? Well, this is considered to be sort of like a... Well, it's a monster beetle, but it's a big wheel. Yeah. A big wheel vehicle. Yeah. And a local club to us, because this tra channel is all about RC car racing, yeah. um, if you don't already know. Um, a local club to us does big wheel racing. What were those things? Yeah. And mm. guess what? Just when I think you couldn't get any more stupid. Unbelievable. You, you are. How can you, you race? Come on, race. What are you going to do with that? Look, hey? it's not all about performance. It's about putting a smile on people's faces. And do you know what? I will, I will be that man. I will, I will put smiles on your faces. People are loving the truck racing, boss. Mm. And do you know what? Mm. You enjoyed the truck racing too. Yeah, it was all right. And I think you're going to enjoy this. Okay. Well, you can't race that because that's race super this. old. This is old. I've um, had that's a look a, at it. That's brittle. It is very brittle. Mm. The uh, shocks are seized up. This thing needs some serious work. And I wouldn't race this because I wouldn't want to break it. Mm. So we need to get hold of something similar. Mm. But better. What are you thinking? Similar but better. What are you thinking? Well, I once built a midnight pumpkin. That was quite good fun, actually. I gave it a little blast. I didn't, I didn't, it wasn't for me. I built it for someone else. We've got it on video, by the way. We have. We can put that. So this is you building your midnight pumpkin. Yeah. Now, we should get, we could get, get another one of those. We've already done no, it, haven't we? We've done that. Well, I'll tell you what, it was always a bit of a classic growing up. Uh... It used to belong to Vanessa. Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa. You know, Vanessa. Vanessa. Ah. Mm -hmm. Always hungry. Always, Always hungry. hungry. Taking food wherever she went. Yeah. Bit of a bully, wasn't she? Yeah, a little bit. <sighs> Vanessa. Vanessa. You remember she had, you know, remember her? I do remember that, yeah. Yeah, not Dolly. No. Vanessa. She had, like... Squidgy wheels, didn't she? Very, very squidgy wheels. Very squidgy wheels. Yeah, very, very squidgy wheels. Um, Vanessa's lunchbox. That is a good shout. How about that one? Because we've never, oh, I've never had one. You, I oh, know you've never had one. <gasps> Tell you what, do your magic. You ain't done that for ages. God, it's been a long time since I've done my magic. But do you know what? I'm wearing my Tammy t shirt. That's always magic. It might that. happen. Right, go on, let's take some deep breaths. It's been a while. Well, are we up me then? off. Right. Here goes. Whoa! Oh, you still got the old. I've still got the magic. Magical touch. But. There it is. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, we this has got look at that, it's got a Rochester RC sticker on it. Our friends over at Rochester RC. Yeah. Legend. They must have magic it over to us. Mm, well they do. That if you would like to get yourself one of these wonderful lunch boxes and you want a bit of money off at the checkout, do use Pop Along RC as your discount code. Anyway. Yeah. And they won't charge you for shipping. They don't do that, do they? They don't do well, that. Well I think you're looking at probably what somewhere in the reason at? about £125 for this. Yeah, well, fair enough. It's not bad. Now, this one here is 
I'm going to take the lid off. It's the black edition. Yes. Look at that. Black. It's Very pretty nice. cool. It's pretty cool. Now then. Um, should we empty the box? It's actually 112 scale. I always thought these were uh, 110 scale, but it's 112. I suppose if it's got the beet beetle shell on, it would be mm. a 110 scale. But because so. it's a truck, they would be longer, wouldn't they? Mm, so the I scale is back. So. I suppose so, yeah. So we got in there and oh, I'm getting a bit bored now because it's a Tamiya year thing, but carry on. You're so rude. Hurry up, come so on. What, if it's going to be like that, I'll do this without you. Well, hurry up then. So what? Let's put that over there. Put that over there. And then we can yeah. sort of have a little butcher's. What have we got there? we got some Tamiya pr okay, plastic. Okay, we've got two, two things there. Yep. we got some lunchbox stickers. Some of, some of that there. We have got... Ah, uh, yes. 1060 ESC. Yeah. Very well, really um, nice indeed. Well, um, We've got some beautiful chrome bling. Not real chrome, but it does look like it. looks it, very it? shiny, doesn't it? Beautiful, um, beautiful. More plastic. More plastic. Some Servo. plastic, fantastic. Servo. More plastic. More plastic. More plastic. Oh, look at this. We've got Where's some. There? Got some windows tinted. Tinted windows. Very nice. Put those there. Yeah. Is Vanessa in there? Look at that. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you try on. it. Give me the other one. Mm. Squidgy. Mm. I do like squeezing a tyre. Do you know what else I like doing? <laughs> Yeah, no, I like. <sighs> Give it a smell. How good is that? <laughs> <sighs> anyway, what else? What else yeah, we've got some there? tyres, boss. Tires, um, tires in there. What else you got there? That's the chassis. That is the chassis. Mm -hmm. But this one doesn't come with a clear shell. It comes with. Oh, good, because your paint is terrible. That's good. You've never got a kind word to say, have you? Look at that. That's not what's that. Now, watch, watch, look. I could do an A-team style shell. Uh, oh, dear, I'm getting bored again. Uh, yeah, you could do an um, A-team style shell. I reckon people... That's been done, though, isn't it? Yeah, it has been done. I'll try and think of something different. Now, then. Um, Motor-wise, what we got in this little box here is another little box. Ugh. Uh... Oh, we've got all the gears. <laughs> and look at this. The old silver it's not can. even It's not even a talk tuned it, or a sport tuned. This yeah. is just silver a can. Silver can Mobile. special. The old Mabuchi RS540SH. What does SH stand for? Superhuman? Maybe. Stephen Hawking? Did he design it? Anyway, that's your, this is this is really something. You excited yet? Yeah. Now the reason I am doing this is because I intend to race it. <laughs> but you're gonna race if you're going to race a Tamiya, what do you need to do? What's the first thing we do to all of our Tamiyas? Put it in the bin. No, I'm joking. What do you need to do with it? I've actually been to RC Bearings and I've got me... Some bearings. Oh, that will really up the performance, won't it? Of this, of this truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm taking it serious, boss. Uh, what else can we do? I'll tell you what, there are some spares available for this car. Um, and I've ordered some of those as well. Do you want to see them? Go on, then. Now, what colour do, do we like making our Tamiyas? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Come blue. On. You guessed it. Anodized blue. I've got some anodized blue bits for it. Oh, yeah. What's that bit then? Steering, Steering arms. Things. And we've got these as well. Look at that. Mm -hmm. we got some front lower You are so excited arms. about this, ain't you? I am. Guess what? I've got one of these as well. Oh, it's one of them. What the hell was that? That is a front arm stabiliser. Oh, well, yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. Look at these. What's that? This is the wheel hubs. 
wheel hubs. You've only got two. It's because it's two wheel drive. So these oh, ones have right. to drive through. The front ones just have bearings. And then this one here, this is the lower sub arm bulk brace. It's beautiful. Yeah, it doesn't need one of them. Yeah. Um, I think there's something else that's dropped on the floor as well. Yeah. Oh, what's this one over here? We have got a front bumper mount. It's actually really nice looking stuff, I'll give you that. Vine. Okay, when you said to me, I'm thinking of getting, you know, one of these, I thought you was joking. No, I'm serious. So, there is a local club, mm. um, and on occasions, they race these cars. And can you imagine, ten of them going around the track. We've said it a long time. If everyone's running the same car, same tech... You have some close racing. Yeah, but you've already bending the rules. You, you're you're oh, you're a bender. No, these are all aesthetics. They're not performance. That's not aesthetic. Imagine that, right? That they, they, they go on a wheel direct, directly. You know, that's a direct drive difference, right there. No, it's not. You're a bender. Feel the weight. Feel the weight of that. That's heavy. Yeah, but when they're heavy, they they're better sometimes. You're bending the rules, man. Already. Anyway, I am bender. going to be making myself. A fantastic looking lunchbox and we're going to do some racing. Now, I do know, friend of the channel, Scott, he's got three of these. Is it? Straight away, we can set up a little track, four of us, whizzing round. Mm. It's going to make for some fun, fun, fun content. Yeah. Put a smile on your face. Right, let's just rewind the clock here. Three and a half years ago. Yeah. Where were we? What were we doing? Three and a half years ago, about that. before we before ago. we conceived the, the idea um, of this channel. What was we doing? Um, I don't know. What were we on about? Well, we were in a field. In a field. We had a few bits of gutter in. Bits of gutter in. And we were driving Koyosho monster trucks, two-wheel drive, not too dissimilar mm -hmm. to what we've got here. Yeah, very true, very true. They're quite good fun. And though. that is what... Whole Papillon came from that one moment. Yeah, it did. So don't knock, don't knock it. All right. Well, when you've when you've built it, I'll have a little go, and if I like it, then I'll. Yeah. Well, I don't know. We'll see. You'll probably get one. Mm -hmm. So build video coming very soon. If you're interested in a lunchbox, if you've got any hints, tips, anything that I need to be aware of, uh, do pop it in the comments down below. Do I need inserts in here? What inserts do I need? Don't start, but you. We've been through this bending the rules, man. No, it doesn't need any insert. It doesn't it, come with them. Look at that. It's meant to be like that. <laughs> that is really good, ain't it? Everyone does that when they get new cars. They sniff the wheels, mate. I've seen it. Anyway, Ooh. inserts for these. I've got my bearings. The next thing is shocks. Do I need to get upgrade the shocks? Oh. Huh. You've taught me well, boss. I was just thinking, what did you change on your uh, your TTO one? Yeah, but he, I changed the things on that because everyone else was doing it. Okay, so I'm asking you guys, what do I need to change on my lunchbox to make it beautiful to drive? <laughs> anyway, uh, are we done now then? I think so. I want right. to get building. I'm excited, boss. Mm. I'm like a kid at Christmas. Oh, no. Do you know how many kids have had one of these under their Christmas tree? Do you know how many Fair kids few. have cried because they didn't have one under their Christmas tree? Do you know what? There's part of me that hates you. Do you know why? Why? Because when I was a kid, I did want one of these. And I said to my dad, can I have a, a Tamiya lunchbox? And he pointed at me and he said... No. So I went to my mum and I said, can I have a Tamiya lunchbox for Christmas? I've been a good boy and that. She went, actually, and this is where it differs a little bit, because she went, no, a bit louder. I see. And, uh, and I never actually got one. Do you so, know what? Um, Once I've built this up and I've raced it at my race, mm -hmm. I'm going to wrap it up and give it to you for Christmas. Oh, well. Because right. I'm nice like that. Alright. If you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit the old ding dong bell, and we'll see you again soon.